Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review series. So today we are looking at a card that may or may not be used in the Satella Knight deck on Daily Duels. So, you know, recently Satella Knight's got this new XC, and everybody's been calling it broken. You know, a lot of people like to throw that word around really easily. So first Dark Law, now this. Because, oh, what is it? Every single card that comes out is just broken? Broken? I mean... Sometimes I wonder, do people even know what the definition of broken means in Yu-Gi-Oh? It means game changing. The state of the game has been altered due to this card. This card's not broken. Soul Charge is broken. The gameplay before and after Soul Charge is completely different. This will not change the whole way that Yu-Gi-Oh is played because Satello Knights have this card. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, we're going to go over this card, so, it is Satellar, or, yeah, Stellar or Satella. they keep on changing his name, first it's like Satella, I think, Satella Knights are the non xes and then, for the Xyz, I think they take out the A, so I think it's just Stella, but n now they're adding, like, the R, so, in instead of Satella, now it's Satellar, I don't know, but this is, from what I'm reading right now, it's Stellar Knight Travel. Trivel, I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, it is a Light Warrior XC effect, rank 4, 2100 attack, 2500 defense. It is made of 3 or 4, I mean, 3 level 4 Satella Knight monsters. Alright, so it has to be Satella Knight. It's not like generic, it's not like Dr. Telos where you can go like, you know, special summon Photon Thrasher, normal summon a, a Goblin Bird, to normal summon a. 10 goldfish and XC into that. No, it has to be all Teller Knights. Or all, all Satella Knights. It has to be. And that's one of the, my biggest gripes with this card. Is that it has to be just all them. Anyway, let me go ahead and go over to the fact. You cannot special summon monsters during the turn. This card is special summon except for Teller Knight monsters. Alright, so just when you thought that, you know, they kind of like pushed you into the corner with the whole three Telenite things. They said, you can't even special summon uh, any other monsters except for Telenite. So, you know, so even if you wanted to do, you know, some other thing, like, you know, go into more monsters, like, you know, even just toss on a little bit of, like, special summon uh, Photon Thrasher and then summon the other three Telenites, you can't. You can't go, you can't special summon him and go into this because you cannot special summon monsters during the turn that's a special summon except for Telenite. <sighs> Also, keep in mind that this is three level fours f for 2100 attack. In my opinion, that's not strong enough. That's not strong enough. 2100 attack for three monsters? No! Give me 25 at least! Give me Delta Tellos! 25 at least! At least put me up at the attack barrier. The last thing I freaking need is to go out of my way to summon this fucker to get ran over by a freaking Utopia. Not that anybody plays Utopia, but seriously. Seriously, that's just lame. You know, Kamikaze with a 101. Like, really? Really? I was made with three materials. I should be 25, 26. You know? I'll give Shockmaster, you know, a pass. Because he was Shockmaster, and, you know, he locked down the duel. You drop the Shockmaster, you call the right thing, you can lock down the damn duel. That's Shockmaster. He was 23, but he is banned for a reason. This will never get banned. This is not Shockmaster. This is 21. This is weaker than Shockmaster. That's ridiculous. That's one of my bi biggest gripes with him. My second biggest gripe with him, it has to be also Telenite Monsters. As you guys seen on the first episode that Telenites have joined uh, Daily Duels, it's hard to get them. It's really hard, you know? I even edited the deck and I added that Uka Hala Hala blah 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 blah, the one that sends. Because at least it's the 18 beater, at least it can send and, you know, I can run like Call the Hunted and like Warrior Returning the Live to get my shit back. But this has to be all of them. So, you know, those cute little plays that I like to do or, you know, I like to special summon like uh, Photon Thrasher or Normal Summon Goblin or summon one of the mouse or, you know, summon Goldfish. I can't do that to summon this guy. That's That's just ridiculous. You know, and that's the thing, is that the Satellite monsters right now, some of them aren't worth it. You know, you want to run three Deneb, three Altair, and three Vega. That's a given. It's debatable whether you want to run the Ukahala, Hala, blah, 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 because I can't say its fucking name, or Sham. Because those two are definitely not as good as the other three. Like, not even remotely close. One's like a foolish for Satellites, and one that burns is like a thousand when it's summoned. Ooh, ooh, a thousand. No, please, still my heart. Really? 
So really, it's going to be hard to, to pull this off. And, and this, the thing is, I haven't even got to its good effects. We're already five minutes in, and all I've done was complain about the things that I don't like about it. And the things I don't like about it are its first effects. And so far, does it seem broken? No, it doesn't even seem remotely broken, so people can calm down that. But its second effect is what, you know, definitely makes up for it. When this card is XC Summoned, return all other cards on the field back to the hand. That is pretty good. That is that is really, really good. And I'm glad that they said XC Summon. Thank God they said when this card is XC Summon. Because I thought they were going to fuck it up and make a special summon. That would have been broke. Because you could send this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard, okay, it's gone. You know what you could fucking do if it just said summon special summon? Call the hunt, bring this back, turn everything. I mean, sure, it would get destroyed too because, you know, the call the hunt, it would go back to your hand so this would be destroyed. But you have an endless field returner because you just go reset the call activate the call summon this back return everything reset the call activate the call resummon this return everything like that is a freaking reset button almost every other turn <laughs> but no they just said excuse summon so that's good return all other cards on the field all other cards except for him that's you both yours and your opponent now this card this effect right here it's really, really good. And I can understand what people were getting at with the whole broken thing. But the thing is, is that this card is like a reset button for the duel. I think I previously talked about this. And the reason why Giant True Day can never come off ban is because it is a reset button. It pretty much resets the whole status of the duel. You know, your opponent goes first. They set their back row. You go. Their back row is ready to get you on your turn. With this card, and the same thing with Giant True Day, it's like a reset button for all the back row. So you drop this, you bounce all cards, including back row, back to each other's, back to your own hand, back to your opponent's hand. Then, you can go ahead and reset your back row, pass to your opponent, your back row is ready. If you guys need a specific example of this, I'm trying to get some back row that you won't be able to respond with when he is summoned. Alright, let's say each of you guys have... Bot I'm not bottomless. Uh, Mirror Force, D Prison, and uh, it's kind of hard because a lot of the good back row you can simply respond to this. Like, you know, <gasps> Warning and Bottomless and Capulse and Torrental, and now people are starting to main deck slash side deck Black Horn of Heaven, so that could also stop this card. But um, we'll, we'll go with the cards that no one runs, alright? Uh, Mirror Force, D Prison, and. Uh, I don't know. Magical Cylinder. Yeah, let's go with those three. So, you have you have Mirror Force, D Prison, Magical Cylinder, and so does your opponent. You summon this. All the cards are returned. You reset your back row. You pass your opponent. Now, you oh, of course you attack because you don't have to worry about their back row. Their back row is gone. Then you attack. You pass it to them. Now what do they have to face? they got to face your back row, which is already activated while they're already ready to go. Well, their back row is still on standby because they got to reset it and then pass it back to you. So you pretty much get a free hit. Also, you get the whole one turn advantage of having the back row reset. It's one of the key reasons why going first is so important because your trap cards will be ready. So, just like John Drunate, it's like a reset button for the entire duel. Not including that, you know, so Knights do play Call the Haunted, so they can go Call the Haunted, revive one of theirs. That will summon back. You can exceed that, that Call the Haunted is pretty much stuck on the field. Go ahead, summon this, return the Call the Haunted back, and reset it. The deck. Um, competitive eyes, I assume we'll be running Phoenix Chain like everybody else. So you might have Phoenix Chains that are stuck on the field. Summon this, return them back, reset them again. You know, definitely that is a great effect. That is a great effect. Now, I can see that they're kind of trying to give Constellas a run for their money, but I would still have to put my money on Pleiades. It's because I could do it during either turn. It's only two level five monsters, not three. It can be you. It can be summoned with just two level five live monsters. It doesn't have to be Constellas, even though I would appreciate it if it was just Constellas, so we wouldn't have like artifacts running around using Pleiades. Cause that's annoying. And uh, that's just his first effect. Let me continue. I'm already 10 minutes in, almost 10 minutes in, and I haven't even got through this whole thing's effect. Um, once per turn, you can attach one XC material from this card. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. No. No, that's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. Attach an XC material just to send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard? No. No, that's kind of lame. 
I mean, I get it. So you returned all their cards, and then you can just like, oh, random, and pick out one of the cards that you sent back. Oh, ha, 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 ha. No. No. For three Satellite Monsters, you're going to have to give me a little bit of bang for my buck, and this ain't worth it. Don't Satellos, Detach Pop, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's good. Detach Pop, Detach Pop, and he blocks my summons, that's great also. This, on the other hand, this is just like, eh? Eh? No, 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 you're not really convincing me. And it's the last effect. This card is sent to the graveyard while it has XC materials. Keep in mind, it has to have XC materials. So if you don't have any more XC materials, you don't get this effect. You can target one Teller Knight monster in the graveyard and special summon that target. And that's also good because I'm glad that it's had XC summon because then he could probably, you know, loop himself for a second and go. You know, he'd be killed with XC materials. He'd go to the graveyard. You can target one. He could target himself. You can special summon and then go whoop. Uh, everything back. But that's good. Um, his is in the graveyard. I believe that Delta Telos was, um, I think it was deck 12 as well. Delta, let me see. His. Is he not on, uh, I don't think he's, I don't think he's on, uh, DN. That sucks. No, I don't think they're on DN. Hold on. No, oh, nope, there he is. Um, you can special summon one from your hand or deck. But yeah, Delta Telos is better. I would rather special summon the Tele Knight from my hand or deck than my graveyard. But I guess, you know, since Trivial, he has to be with three Telenite monsters, and, you know, the three Telenite monsters that you use to summon are probably the ones that you want to summon from your hand deck anyway. Um, bottom line, in conclusion, this card's not broken. This card's not, in my opinion, this card's not even as good as freaking Delta Taros. Delta Taros is, is better than him. Period. He blocks when you normal summon or special summon a monster. Your opponent can't activate any card effects, like, you know, um, you know, people like to put around Blackhorn, so this guy can, Delta Taros can block your shit from Blackhorn, Bottomless, Compulse, Torrental, you can't, opponent can't activate the things, uh, once per turn, you can attach a to target one card on the field and destroy it, period, one card, back row, monsters, whatever, and when this card is sent, uh, from the field to the graveyard, doesn't even need materials, just says when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one Stellanite, you can special summon one Stellanite monster from your hand or deck, and he's 25, in my opinion, at least generic. In my opinion, Delta Taros is more broken than Trivial. So, for people to say that Trivial is broken, have they never seen Delta Taros? Delta Taros is better, in my opinion. The only redeeming effect that Trivial has over Delta Taros is that bounce back effect. That's it. I gotta go. I gotta use only Stellar Knights. I can't special summon any other monsters except for Stellar Knights. And I detach to get some random pick out of your hand effect, and I know that you're going to have more than one card at this point. I mean, you should. You should. I mean, that, I mean, that would be kind of funny that they only have one card, you summon this, bounce that one card back, and then detach and pick that one card. That'd be, that'd be, that's cute. That's a cute play. But, overall, it's just not worth it. And then, when it's center graveyard, while you have XC materials, you target one to tell nine monster in your graveyard, especially some of that target. It's not generic. It's only 21. It's probably going to get ran over. <sighs> It's just not that good. End game, end game. This card could definitely be a deciding factor, but early mid, go with Delta. You know, I would rather, ra and that's the thing. I would rather go for Delta. No, I would just rather go for him. If like, if I can make Trivial, I would rather make Delta. And the thing is, if I'm bouncing back cards, and that generally means that I'm probably down on resources when I'm making him, because I'm gonna be negging. I would rather make an Exiton. I would rather get rid of the cards than bounce the card back and give it to him to use later. Alright, I'm done. So, I just wanted to state that. So, he's like a reset button, but he ain't broke. In my opinion, Delta is better. So, sorry this one went so long, but I just wanted to, you know, get it all off my chest. So, don't expect for me to summon this guy on uh, Daily Duels on Tuesdays with Stellis because he's just not worth the trouble. I'm already having consistency issues with the deck. You know, there's only nine good ones. You had to summon with all those only, so it's just not worth the trouble. I would rather go for the one that number 86 night. I would rather go for the Talos. I'd rather go for uh, that lightning snake thing that, you know, you could detach three to wipe all the monsters on the field. You know, it would just be better because they're just generic. Anyway, I'm done. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this card review series. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card. Thanks for watching.